Months after FBI agents shoot a man, his family is filing suit. Their attorney releasing new video to us today. Shana, what are you learning? Well, Jason, the family of Taheem Weeks Cook filing a suit with the FBI seeking compensation for the shooting death of their son. And while it's very early in this legal pursuit, their main concern right now is accountability and transparency. My son Taheem was only 22 and a half years old and his life did not deserve to be taken the way that it was. Stacy Weeks side by side with her attorney and her sister still in disbelief six months after her son was shot and killed by FBI agents on the 1700 block of West Venango Street. I want answers. I know I won't bring my son back, but I just want answers as to why, even how this happened. On August 4th, 2023, investigators say FBI agents were executing a search and arrest warrant in connection to at least one armed robbery of a 7-Eleven in Upper Southampton Township. According to the Bucks County DA's office, there was evidence that linked Weeks Cook to that armed robbery. But the search and arrest warrant quickly turned deadly. Take a look at this video provided to us by the attorney representing the family of Taheem Weeks Cook. A 22-year-old seen running from FBI agents unarmed and seconds later from an undercover van shot at least twice in the torso by FBI agents. Paul Hetznecker represents the Weeks Cook family. He says someone has to answer to this incident. He's unarmed, his hands are open, they're empty, and he gets shot twice. That, to me, is a classic case of excessive force. In this day and age when law enforcement should be scrutinized for their actions, they're not above the law, and they should be held accountable for their actions. For his mother, she says she hasn't heard a word from the FBI about her son's case and is still left with little understanding of what led to her son's death. If you have an arrest warrant or a search warrant, it should not be a death warrant. You acted like as if you was the judge, you were God, like you took his life. I just want to know why or what happened. Now, we asked the Philadelphia DA earlier today if his investigation into those agents and whether or not they have been cleared with those actions, if, if it's been completed yet. And uh, Larry Krasner could not uh, answer that question, saying it's still under active investigation. We also reached out uh, to the Philadelphia branch of the FBI here. Still no word from them. Specifically asking the attorney today in terms of compensation, what the family is looking for. And Jason, they couldn't give me a number. All right, Shana Ferreira, thank you very much.